What's good to all my breezy fellow and fellas? What's poppin' fam coming to y'all with a story time on how I almost drowned? Not once, my nigga, but twice. Now let's start this story, y'all, uh, the first time. I was nine, and then the second time, I was 11. Now let's start off with the first time. So let's take it back to 2011. I was nine, and me and my family, we was like, all right, let's go swimming today. We gonna go to the YMCA. So I'm, I'm like, bet, let's have some fun. Let's go swimming. So then we get to the YMCA, we go in the locker room, change, I change into my swimming trunks. And then we head down to the pool. So then after we head down to the pool, now mind you, when I was nine, I was like three nine. And then, so to me, three feet was already deep as it was. Five, four feet was just mega deep. And then five feet felt like the whole entire ocean. But anyway, so I hopped into the three feet side. And then, but first I walked down the steps. And as I'm walking down the steps, you know, the water's starting to get deeper and deeper. So I get down the last step, and then all of a sudden, it's like this: it's like the water is taking control of half of my body, more than half of my body, actually. So I get, I, I get scared. I start freaking out. So then all of a sudden, I start holding on to the wall. And you know, of course, I was holding on to the wall because at that age, I didn't even know how to swim. And you know, of course. You know, you always got that one person that be like, oh, try to swim, try to swim. And I'm like, ah, oh, I'm scared. You know, because I didn't know how to swim. And I wasn't trying to drown. So I get out the water. That's when my father was like, all right, you learn how to swim. The best way to learn how to swim is to jump and cannonball into the water. Now I'm like, what? And then, but this is the funny thing. Like, I had on a little floaty vest outfit that helped you float and stay in the water. So you know, you know, I had nothing to worry about, but still I wasn't thinking about that. So you know, you know, he told me to jump in the water and I was like, no, how about you jump in the water? You know, I asked him to jump in the water because I was scared. So he jumped in the water and he made it look easy, of course. So then I'm like, all right, bet. So then I jumps in the water and when I jumps in the water, you know, the little thing that helped me float, it didn't do nothing. Matter of fact, it fell off of me. And I went inside the water and then all of a sudden I held the water. My nose was burning. My head started hurting. I just, and then that's when I just went right back on the wall. I was so mad that day. And all I did that entire day after that was just stay on the steps. Cause you know, like, you know, cause when you drown, when you almost drown and then you scared to swim, you be embarrassed at the same time. It's just too much. But yeah, that was the first time I almost drowned. Now, the second time I almost drowned, I deserved it because, you know, a nigga trying to be all hardcore, trying to be in the little tube at Great Wolf Lodge, trying to do a little, I forgot what it's called, but it's like when you try to swirl around and, and do a whole 360 in the freaking tube. But you know, I deserved it. So let's start off 2013. You know, I just had graduated from fifth grade. I, I was 11 at the time. So, you know, you know, of course, in the summertime, everybody, families be taking family vacations. We be doing all this fun. So, you know, just having fun in the summer. So, you know, we take a two hour drive to Great Wolf Lodge. And first, you know, first, let's say the most. Great Wolf Lodge, that's a great place to go. You gotta visit there. But anyway, like we get to the hotel, the hotel on fleek. Like even though it was like a log cabinet, but that hotel was on fleek. So then, you know, it's the first day we head out to the pool, we swimming. And you know, they have a little swimming and basketball thing going on there. So you can play basketball and swim. So we swimming. And mind you, at this time, I, I kind of know how to swim now. So, you know, I shouldn't be making no mistakes, but I made a mistake the second day. Because the second day, you know, we was swimming and I already had been on all the slides. I've been on all the rides. I did it. I've been there, done that, did all this stuff. But, you know, of course, since I've been on, on all this stuff, you know, I was going to repeat what I did. So then I get on the blue slide at Great Wolf Lodge. I went through that with a breeze down the green slide that's when i was in the wave pool swimming with the waves and all that so then at this point i'm having a blast you know 
after being in the wave pool, dancing with the waves, floating with the waves, letting the waves take me. The wave pool just so fun. But that's not what we talking about. We talking about how I almost drowned. And what happened was I got on, I got back on the yellow slide. And then so you know I was waiting in line then it was my turn to get on the yellow slide. And as I was, you know, going down the slide. You know, I tried to do something I saw at the Nitro Circus, trying to do a whole 360 in the tube, trying to swirl up and down. And then all of a sudden, after I did that, I lost control of my raft. No, I wouldn't say my raft, I would say my floaty, actually. And then, so then after I lost control of my floaty, then like, I started sliding down the slide, lost control, fell in the water, my goggles came off. I didn't know where I was at. I had a whole front flip in the water. I didn't know where I was at. My nose was burning. Head was hurting. I didn't even know what to do with myself after that. And then, so all of a sudden, I had to ask the lifeguard, oh, can you get my goggles? You know, of course, I had to wait till the next person came down the slide. And I asked him, can you get my goggles? He got my goggles. You know, I just sat on the other side of the pool, just stayed to myself and get back in the water. Because, you know, like, when I was a kid, like, I would have so much fun, but then as soon as something happened, I didn't want to do it no more. I was that type of kid, you know. And then, but I still had fun, you know. And then when we came, when we came out the pool area, you know, I was just chilling. I stayed in the hotel and, you know, ate some snacks for real. You know, Great Wolf Lodge is a good place to go. Matter of fact, it's not a good place. It's a great place to go. But yeah, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And it's your boy Breezy Ben, and we out. Peace, y'all.